discuss the working of master cylinder in detail. We know that in a hydraulic braking system, when the driver presses the brake paddle, the piston of the master cylinder pushes the brake fluid in the cylinder. This increases the pressure of the brake fluid in the master cylinder. This high pressure causes the brake fluid to enter in the wheel cylinder and apply pressure on the piston, thus pushing them outwards. As a result, the pistons force the brake shoe out against the brake drums, thus applying the brakes. Now let's discuss the master cylinder in brief. Master cylinder is the main cylinder involved in the working of the hydraulic brakes. It is also known as the heart of hydraulic braking system. It is responsible for building up the hydraulic pressure to operate the brakes, maintaining a constant volume of fluid in the system, serving as a pump to force the air out of the hydraulic system. Now master cylinder can be of two types, single master cylinder and tandem master cylinder. Now let's discuss single master cylinder in detail. A typical single master cylinder can be shown as it consists of two main chambers, the fluid reservoir and the compression chamber. The fluid reservoir stores the brake fluid in it and compensates for any change in the fluid volume in the pipelines. It is provided with intake port and the bypass port. Also a cap with an air vent is provided in the reservoir to keep a constant atmospheric pressure in the reservoir. The compression chamber is the working cylinder for the master cylinder piston. To prevent leakage, rubber seals are provided on both sides of the piston in compression chamber known as primary and secondary seal. The piston and the primary seal are connected to a fluid check valve with the help of a spring. The fluid check valve covers the outlet of the master cylinder, which is connected to the brake lines. It is provided with a rubber cup inside, which retains the residual pressure in the brake lines even when the brakes are released. Also, the reduced diameter region of the piston is always filled with fluid. A rubber boot covers the push rod end of the master cylinder to prevent it from dirt. Also, a number of holes are drilled in the piston head on the primary seal side. Now, let's understand its working. When the driver presses the brake paddle, the push rod moves the piston inside against the force of the spring. This causes the primary seal to cover the bypass port. Further movement of the piston builds the pressure in the compression chamber. When this pressure becomes sufficient enough, the inner rubber cup of the fluid check valve gets deflected thereby forcing the high pressure fluid in the brake lines. This fluid then enters the wheel cylinder or the caliper and pushes the pistons outward, thereby applying the brakes. Now when the brake paddle is released, the spring pressure quickly pushes the piston outside. This sudden force of the spring also keeps the fluid check valve on its seat for some time, thereby delaying the return of fluid from the brake lines into the compression chamber Due to this, the pressure in the compression chamber drops very much to near vacuum, which needs to be destroyed immediately as it can cause air to leak in the system. This problem is solved by the intake port provided in the fluid reservoir. As soon as the vacuum forms, the atmospheric pressure fluid in the reservoir flows through the intake port and the piston holes, thereby deflecting the primary seal and entering the compression chamber. After this, the brake fluid from the brake lines also enter the compression chamber, which increases the amount of fluid in the chamber. This extra fluid is then sent back to reservoir through the bypass port. This concludes the working of single master cylinder. Now let's summarize the master cylinder as.